vlog miss day seven welcome um, I'm just getting my day started and today's the day we are going to wrap presents at least some of them and get it started so not gonna let anything stop me so getting ready for my work day but wanted to pop on here and say good morning remind you to subscribe if you're new here and we'll take you along for my wrapping it's lunchtime dogs are outside chilling and I just got done eating um, leftover Chinese from last night. Now, for your entertainment pleasure, I'm going to fold laundry. <laughs> it's one of the perks of working from home. You can spend your lunch hour folding laundry. So there's a new restaurant that opened um, up the street from us. It's been in the process of um, opening for months. And we have to drive past it almost everywhere we go. And Jeff has been just dying to try it. And now it's open. And today is its grand opening. They had a soft opening two days ago. And he wants to go after work excuse me which is fine I'm afraid the place will be a zoo so we'll see I've got meetings until four today so I guess it'll depend on what time he gets out of work made it into the basement um, I've got my book so I kind of explained this last year and everybody thought I was crazy but um, I write down everything that I bought um, and then when it shows up I mark it as that I got it and then after I wrap it I highlight it and that way I know I'm done um, my kids made fun of me last year when I explained this on vlogmas but it's how I keep myself organized and for me organization means less um, stress so here we are so I am going to pick a pile and start wrapping Chilling and having a good, good time Wrapping session number one, but I'm feeling pretty accomplished. I did get one family done there's what I got and they're not done I've still got a couple more things coming for that particular family um, but I think that's true of all of them so but wrapping is starting okay. we're at dinner um, we are at the new place called the canary and like I said it's in this little town right next to where we live it took me probably five minutes to get here so here we go so we just got home from dinner we did we went to the canary so the Canary is a local, a small local restaurant. I explained earlier how it's been under construction for months. Um, 
So it was opening night. Yep. Jeff got there before I did. Um, couple things. Parking lot's way too small. <laughs> uh, not not much of a parking lot. Um, there wasn't any tables left, so we were kind of sitting at the bar, which we expected for opening night. Well, we, we had some high-top stools at a counter, not actually at the bar itself. So there were a couple other places to sit. So, so. what would be your overall impression? So here's the thing. So overall impression. It's their very first night. So I don't think it's fair to judge them based on a first night opening and they're trying to get their get their feet wet and figure out the, the public that's coming in there, what kind of crowds they're going to have. Right now it's going to be busy, which it was. It was very busy. We saw all the people that we know from this area, and we've only been here for two years, so everybody comes in that's local, obviously, and that's what people had planned tonight. Where we, ordered... we live is a very small, and it was obvious from this place, everybody knew everybody. It's kind of like being at Cheers. Everybody knows your name. <laughs> we kept expecting Norm to show up. He didn't, but I drank beer in place of Norm, so it was okay. Their menu was small, <clears throat> but their prices were very reasonable, I thought. Yeah. Like, their alcohol prices were very reasonable. So we had, they also have a smoker, so they do some smoked meats down there. We had a smoked meat platter. It was two meats and two sides. And um, they were, the servings were a little bit small. But again, I think they're trying to get used to what they're doing and, you know, how much they got to make for things. So it was good, though. The food was good. It had a great smoked flavor. We had the chicken and pulled pork. We had the smoked macaroni and cheese. And smoked baked beans. Smoked baked beans with bacon. It was good. So they have a, on their menu, they have a, it's like a, what do they call it? A two meat sampler. Yeah. And we were thinking that it would be enough food for the both of us. And I think it was like, what, 20 bucks? It was $20, which wasn't horrible. No. And after he ordered, the waitress said, looked at me and said, well, what are you going to eat? <laughs> and I said, well, we're going to share. And I didn't think... Nor we did, both thought like nor did I. that's plenty of food and then when the food got there and I didn't even take video of it because we were hungry and we ate it so fast <laughs> um, it just it really is not meant for two people the, the sides were small and the meat was small so when we go back which I'm sure we'll go back because it's only like three minutes away from the house um, we'll know better next time but they they've do, got different sandwiches yeah, they, they have, have different a sandwiches. Menu we didn't try sandwiches. anything like that uh, some of the sandwiches sounded really good. Yeah, they have an ultimate grilled cheese. They had a ham and cheese. They had a bacon chicken ranch sandwich. There was a woman who... So, of course, somebody Jeff worked with came in. So we talked to her, and she was talking to somebody, and they have, um, like, this whole specialty potato thing where you can get, like, pulled pork and, like, the sides on the potato. And apparently she had had that and said it was really good, so... But for both of us to eat dinner, and we both had two drinks. Yeah, I had only, two beers. Chris had two wines. And it was only $42. So, so not bad. No. Not bad at all. Um, I just think they probably need time to get their feet wet and figure out, you know, what their crowd is going to be like and how much food they got to make on a daily basis. So, overall, we'll go back. We want to try the other things they have. And um, it's quick. It's close. So, and the food was good. The atmosphere was nice. The place was nice and clean. Of course, it just opened. Our uh, waitress, she was very nice, very sweet girl. Their servers, their waiters, waiting staff, they were slow. But again, that was completely expected with it being opening night. So yeah. you come in, somebody welcomes you as soon as you come in. So it was nice. It was, uh, it was a nice chance to try it out, and I'm sure we'll go back and uh, we'll do some comments in the future. But if you haven't been there or you haven't tried it yet, go give it a try. See what you think. Uh, if you don't run into somebody you know there, if you're from local, I'd be very surprised. We've only been here two years. And, and we ran into, what, three? We ran into three or four people we knew. So, <laughs> so there you go. All right. Just wanted to check in and say goodnight. It's about 8.30. We are watching Survivor, and then we're going to watch the grand finale, or the season finale of The Amazing Race. So, good night. We'll see you in the morning. Bye.